we are off to an event with Pinterest. Before that, we're gonna do a little bit of shopping. I'm not gonna say. Anyway, so I did go ahead and pick these up. So this is a H&M find. It's very sharp, <laughs> I'm joking. The thing is, my birthday's in February, but I feel like I'm gonna be spending it somewhere warm this year, so. My favorite things about what I do, aside from the clothes, is getting to see what's coming up in fashion. On this day, I stopped by the Factory PR showroom. I got to see goodies from Chico's. I mean, look at this little set from Chico's. So good. ASOS. The girls were gagging for the silver trench. It didn't come in plus, but trust me, I found it similar somewhere else in plus. And then I love this embellished sweater and this sequin white moment for the holidays. They also had bags from Rebag. Can I have that please? And this gorgeous bespoke leather brand where you can custom make your leather pieces. I mean, look at this. The gorgeous occasion wear pieces from Habison. If you have, you know, a fancy occasion coming up. I mean, I'm just always in awe when I get to like look at touch and feel quality made garments. And I learned of so many upcoming wellness and beauty brands like this one that uses your DNA. Did you know that Elizabeth Arden actually has a retinol that you can use day and night? After that, I popped into Heinz and Moritz because I was on the hunt for that white set, okay? an event with Pinterest. Before that, we're gonna do a little bit of shopping. My plan is to go to the Anthro store that's right next to Rockefeller. However, I feel like it's closed. So we're just gonna do Rockefeller and we're gonna just sort of like the walk of all the lights. 
I'm super excited to bring you guys along. I'm back in the city again. And y'all are tagging along with me. I have um, like two hours before the event starts. And then I want to go grab some dinner afterwards. Fingers crossed. I feel like um, I'm hoping that I'm going to see some of the girlies at the event so we can do dinner. If not, I want to check out one of the festive restaurants. I'm excited for that. We have Rolf's. Um, all the girls have been talking about it, but all the New Yorkers are like, don't go there. So I have two other um, spots that I'm debating, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually put a New York or festive sort of like itinerary for you guys in the description box, just in case you've been thinking of coming to New York during the holidays. I'm gonna list out like all the places to go, all the things to see and whatnot for y'all. <laughs> um, but yeah, come on, let's get to it.
you know why you can kind of hear it in my voice but we are in full Christmas decoration mode and I'm excited for that the tree is up I've been sprinkling and Christmasifying all the different parts in the house so I just wanted to like walk you guys through that and then get your opinion on something I also have a bunch of goodies that have come in since we are post Black Friday. I have some ASOS goodies to share with you guys that I got. So stay tuned for that as well. And that's what we're doing today. I realized that I did not share with you guys like what I got from Home Goods. So I'm gonna share that with you guys. And I'm kind of gonna walk you through some of like the holiday decor. I'm about 90% done. I don't know about you guys, but I like to decorate in stages. So I have one more thing that I think I'm gonna do to the tree and I'll ask you guys, let me just pop up some inspiration. So I'm thinking I wanna add ribbons to the tree. Honestly, I don't know. I didn't really have a theme for the tree this year. It kind of just fell into what it fell into <laughs> because I was tired of doing my regular tree, which was like the black and white tree and I wanted to change things up. But then I didn't know people were shopping for Christmas in like September because I wanted to do the velvet ribbons and the velvet baubles or the velvet ornaments and all this stuff was sold out. I was like, dang, are y'all buying Christmas stuff in August? And I was looking in like end of October, early November and everything, all the stuff was gone. But anyways, I'll show you guys that. It's kind of just walk you through like a all the little decor things. I really only decorate the living room like with a few sprigs in the kitchen. Let me know in the comments below if you decorate all the rooms in your house. I may like swap this out for a little tree over here. And that's about it. Like, I don't know. I'm usually a huge Christmas person, but something about my mood right now is kind of all over the place when it comes to Christmas this year. I don't know. It's just like not as like, you know, nostalgic and in my feelings as I typically am around Christmas this year. And I don't know why. But anyways, let me go ahead and stop rambling. Let's get to it. So let's go ahead and dig into the Home Goods haul. The first item I picked up was for the tree. It's this gorgeous rattan star. I just love the detailing on it. It's very me, very, you know, vintage modern or whatever the correct term is that we're using these days because of like the natural elements on it. I also like that they use two different types of twine. It was only $12.99 and I could definitely see this at like a Lulu in Georgia or like a CB2 for more. So a great find. The only problem is that the ceilings in my living room are not that high. So I have a seven and a half foot tree. Could I put this on top? Yes, but I feel like if I put this on top, it's literally gonna be hitting the top of my ceiling. So I don't know. I'll play around with it and see if it's even worth it this year. Either way, I know it's something I'm gonna use. And so she's a find. And then the other thing I picked up was some glassware because I have been influenced not once, not twice, not three times, okay, by the Amazon girlies to buy glassware but they're so fragile okay and in my house you need like heavy duty okay because the people i got in my house require heavy duty glassware they ha they require heavy duty everything that's all i'm gonna say so anyway i keep going through glassware so when i saw this one i was like okay this is very substantial okay child proof ish um i want to say somebody else proof but i'm not gonna say it um, I'm not going to say it. Anyway, so I did go ahead and pick these up. This is like the same glassware they have at the Virgin Hotels. If you've ever been to any of their hotels, I feel like their um, 
style and aesthetic is pretty uniform because we stayed in the ones in New Orleans and I looked at the ones in New York and it's literally the same aesthetic, the same like type of furniture, just different colors. Anyways, they had this in like a green of, in New Orleans. I just love this like baby pink color, very on brand, okay? If you're taking a moment to go to my blog, you know that this color is very on brand. So I picked up one, two, three, I think I picked up four of them. Let's try not to break it, shall we? And I just love the detailing, I don't know if you guys can see. They have like these really, like these little different sizes of like spheres. And it's like a good weight too. And last but not least, I don't even remember buying what is in here. Oh, I know what this is. I know what this is. I bought myself some vodka pasta sauce because I have been meaning to make vodka pasta since forever and ever. Anytime I go to a restaurant and vodka pasta is an option, I'm always like, okay, mm -hmm, let me have that. My only issue is like, why does it not like come with like meatballs or some kind of, you know, like protein. Any, everywhere I go, they always offer it by itself. And I'm just like, there should be protein in this. I digress. Anyways, I grabbed some vodka pasta sauce. I'm pretty sure you can make this at home, but I, I don't have an Italian bone on my body, so I'ma buy it from the store. I do have a bunch of stuff that I'm anticipating will come in while we're filming this vlog and it's uh my cyber week wish list like all the stuff that i got if you're following me on instagram which you should be then i'm spilling the tea over there on what's actually on my radar the things that i actually want to pick up if we have like the same taste i highly recommend you follow me there my instagram's always linked so hopefully the stuff comes in i'm, I'm able to share it with you um in this vlog Christmas tree like I said I wasn't sure what I was gonna do with this tree this year because I knew I didn't want to do my regular black and white tree anymore and what kind of ended up inspiring this tree were these velvet ornaments in gray so I was like you know what let me just do a gold and silver and white theme and that's what we ended up with when it comes to tree I, trees I really love to mix different elements so I want different shapes so I've got like stars in here. You know, even though I have a lot of circle shapes, I also have different textures and different colors. So we have like a white and a, a, a silver here, a gold and a silver. We have gold, et cetera, et cetera. Then we have these ornament shapes, like I said, um, that just add something extra to the tree. We're doing different, you know, this is shiny, this is matte, et cetera, et cetera. That's what I decided to go with, with the tree. Um, and I think it came together pretty well. Now, the only thing that I'm thinking I'm going to add to the tree is going to be this velvet ribbons. I got a pack of them from Amazon. Now, I'm going to put my inspo up so you guys can see. I've been seeing people adding velvet ribbon to their trees. The only thing is, I'm not, like, good at tying ribbons. So, I was, like, I was really trying to find one that was already pre-tied. They had them, but they sold out. They only had green, which would just wasn't didn't quite go with the color scheme I wanted. So I was like, okay, you know what? I saw a lady who basically just like she didn't do a bow. She just tied the ribbon to the tree. So we're gonna attempt that and see what that looks like. There's four colors here, like so, like that. But I'm only gonna use these two because I really wanted to add some brown to the tree just to tie in the rest of my decor. And this is I'm gonna use like the gold color and the brown color. I mean, if I wanted to, I could use the green, but I don't think I will.
feel about it. Um, I don't hate it. <laughs> That's where I stand. I think if I could have made them bows, they would stand out a little bit more. But I do like that they're dangling because to me, that adds like another element in the differences in shapes. So we have like a longer piece, you know, we have circles, we have rectangles, we have round pieces, long pieces, etc., etc. So I've added that in. So I tried to follow triangle pattern. I did the gold, then I did the brown, then I did the gold, kind of like, and then brown, kind of like, tried to follow that pattern all over the tree. I'm still on the fence about this one. I don't know <laughs> if I love it or hate it. Um... I added some gold, I added some bronze and brown. And to me, that kind of ties in with the pine cones as well. So let me know your thoughts on the ribbons. Is this a yes? Is this a no? Let me know your thoughts. Over here, I have a conglomerate, that's the right word, of trees. This is H&M Target situation. I just love mixing the different tones. So we have some gold, some silver, white, bronze, pulling through all of the same colors that are on the tree because it's pretty much right next to the tree. This is some of my favorite ornament right here because it has pearls on it. It has like the tinsel, it's 3D, I love it. I also love these ornaments as well, which is kind of like what ended up inspiring the tree decor. Uh, it's like a gray velvet, so love that as well. And then on the other side of the credenza or console table, I have this old little statue from H&M. I've had it for years. This is old Target as well. These actually light up, but have I ever turned them on? No. <laughs> but they're these little houses. And then I have two candlesticks behind there. And that's pretty much what I decided to do on this end. So out of all of the vignettes I created, I think this area, my credenza is probably my favorite, and it was the first one I did. I have a couple of books stacked up here with the sister house. <laughs> on top of it, I love the fact that this looks like an A-frame, super cool. And then on this end, I did two more trees. Y'all, I am banned from buying trees because I have way too many. <laughs> and buy no more trees. But I had this little tree and here. I think the theme was black, white, and pops of green. So I have this wooden tree, $3 from the dollar spot at Target Old. This as well is a candle that looks like a tree, the ceramic situation. You can undo it. And a lot of places do, do these. So I'll try and link it for you if you're interested. And when it comes to like holiday decor, I really like to work with what I already have and just add little touches of Christmas. I already had this on the credenza, so it stayed and that's an old home goods spot. Now over here, I had some winter floors. I need to figure out where I bought this from so I can reorder it and buy, I feel like it's Amazon, so I'm gonna go look and buy like four more bunches because it's so worth it. So I have these like faux branches that I kind of just like bent and you know try to shape to make it look grand i have it inside this mika pot i believe is what it's called from anthropology this is like a fan favorite and they have different sizes this is the smallest size that they have i um, mean you can use this in so many places in your house that's what i love about it the texture on it is like i don't know if you can catch it on camera but it's really cool i use this in the kitchen as like a utensil holder now it's coming to the living room and then I have the sister of the other tree from H&M here. These are like the paper trees. I'm obsessed with these. They do take a little finessing to like set them up um, when you first like a learning curve for that. But once you figure it out, you pretty much can do the rest of them. And then just some candles to finish things off. 
So for the coffee table, I kept things super simple. Just the two trees. I like to mix my textures. So I went with this bronze tree, okay, that you have to DIY to put it together. Like, so this is a H&M find. It's very sharp. <laughs> I'm joking. I wouldn't say this is the most kid-friendly thing. So if you have kids and you get this, definitely put this somewhere high because it does come apart. Okay. And then I also picked this one from Target. This is new season. It has like, it's like a faux marble. It has some flecks of brown, which kind of goes with the theme of the whole space. Then I already had this decor. I like to just incorporate, I don't like to like change out my decor 100%. I like to add in the Christmas sprinklings. And so this is like a textured vase, another old home goods find. And then finally, this is usually somewhere in my living room. It's a pedestal. I usually put like remote control, drinks, blah, blah, blah on top of it. This is always here. And I put that, and that is basically very simple because we still gotta live here. Um, vignette for the coffee table. Now, I feel like I'm gonna get questions about this dress, so if you're curious, this is an Abercrombie dress. They make this dress all year round in different versions. Some versions are like longer, some are more mini, but this is their Emerson dress. I got this during the summertime. I just love it. It's one of those dresses that gives total cottage core vibes. If you're into that, it like it's fitted at the bust, it folds away from the body, it has pockets, it has puff sleeves. So if you want to dress it up, you can, especially if you get it in a solid color. But if you also want to wear it like casually and cutely, you can as well. And that's why I love it. I also love that you can low-key wear this without a bra, you know, as well. Like if you have a smaller chest, definitely think you can get away without a bra, especially if you like size down so it fits your core, anyway, super cute dress, definitely worth it. I know that I saw the mini ones were available. If this style is still available, I'll link it for you in the description box as well. So the only place that has not been hit with the Christmas spirit is the dining table. I don't think I'm gonna do this today. And one of the reasons why I'm hesitating to do it is because my dining table is typically um, shipping and receiving. So I think I'm gonna wait till Christmas to do anything to it. I'm just sitting here, literally trying to convince myself to work. I'm trying to find something somewhat intriguing on TV so that I can do a little watching, a little working. How do you guys like force yourself to do work when you're not feeling like it? I also have to get up to unbox the pieces that I promised you guys. <laughs> Help. So this ASOS order is basically potential birthday dresses. My birthday is coming up soon. And I was like, let me go ahead and take advantage of these Sally sales, okay? And grab a couple of dresses that um, could potentially work for my birthday and other things that I just like had on my mind and had on my radar. Um, let me see, okay, so I'm trying to see what I want to show and what I want to save for the collective haul. Alright, so I picked up these white pants. They're like statement. I don't, I don't even know if I want to call them statement pants, but like they have this cool little applique detail. They um, come with a matching blazer, but I didn't feel like I needed the blazer. I definitely want to try the pants on. Obviously me holding it up means absolutely nothing. So the cutaway will be there for you. Uh, I got this in a size 20. And from what I can see here, I feel like it runs, it's gonna be big for my waist. Yeah, it's gonna be big for my waist, but let's see. It has this cool little PK detail right here on the thigh um, that I thought was super cute. I definitely feel like it would be so cute to wear this with a bodysuit. I have like a biker jacket, a cream biker jacket that I think would pair well with this as well. 
with a pair of heels, something for like a girl's night out, something unexpected. I'm always shopping out of season, so spring will be here right, right before we know it. <laughs> and I think this would be a great piece for spring, especially since I got a great deal from the Cyber Week. So there's that. Okay, does it have pockets? Let me check. No pockets, no pockets, zip up waist, um, and then side split. I always have this problem because my torso is short, that the seat of my pants are always too long. I feel like that's gonna be the case here, but we shall see. Next thing I picked up, another potential dress. See, the thing is, my birthday's in February, so it's not quite spring yet. It's more like the end of winter, but I feel like I'm gonna be spending it somewhere warm this year, so I think these dresses will still work. Wow, this dress is so gorgeous. Can you guys see the detailing on this? It's like a crinkled chiffon, but it is lined, okay, fully lined on the inside. Now, this doesn't have underwire, but it kind of like gives you the shape of the breast assist. Um, let me see what size I get this in. I got this in 18. Hopefully it's not too big. It has all these like fun little ruffles, fun little ruffles here, ruffles around the hem. I love this sort of organza chiffon that they've been making dresses out of. Oh, I think this is gonna be so cute. And I also feel like you can wear this still in like the winter because it has some like mauves and browns. So you can definitely pair this with like burgundy to make it more like winter. And then in the spring, you could definitely do like white or lighter shoes to make it more spring and summer-like. I'm excited. So let's see how this fits. And the last item, as soon as I opened the package, I was like, I have a dress just like this from H&M, but that dress has absolutely no shape. And what made me buy this dress was that while I was in Dallas, one of the girls had this same exact dress on and it fit her like a glove. She looked so good. Okay, I was like, okay, I need to test that out for myself. I tried to resist the urge to buy sequin stuff for my birthday because like how many times can you wear sequins? But somehow I always end up picking something sequin, okay? And this dress is no, ooh, it is no. Okay, it is no exception. All right, it's like a velvet, a pink velvet with all of these gorgeous, do you see these gorgeous sequins all through it? It's one shoulder, it's padded. It has a little sash moment in the front. So it gathers, very, very flattering on the belly, by the way. And it's a me. Okay. Okay, this is this is gonna be a moment. Okay, I need some burgundy shoes or some red shoes to go with either of these dresses because I feel like these are about to be a moment. And I'm just like, now, do I really wanna show you these or do I wanna wait till my birthday? <laughs> I didn't show you guys everything, I still have a couple. But now that I'm seeing this like hung, I'm just like, I may end up wearing this for my birthday, so maybe I shouldn't be. Anyways, I got this in a size 18 as well. This definitely fits, looks to fit a little smaller than the other dress, but maybe, maybe that's why it's gonna be snatched. Okay, I need to quickly try these dresses on to make sure, because. If something needs to be returned, I need to know. But yeah, these are the two pieces, the three pieces I'm gonna show from the ASOS haul. There will be a full collective haul for you guys. But I was like, let me give a sneak peek, okay, to the girlies who are rocking with me on the vlog. And you know what? I may just link everything down below. So if you're interested in seeing like what else I got, it will be linked for you in the description box down below.